Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answer Man. How's it going, DGAM fam? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And thanks to Emac, because I found one of your Emac truths nice. stashed in the course here in Southern California a few Sweet. weeks ago, and it Very was awesome cool. to run into you. Anyway, my question today is on disc spin. I see in the pro coverage that even on you know putter and mid shots, their discs have so much spin after they hit the ground and they're rolling around for a little bit. Why did their shots do this? Because I haven't really seen that in my own shots, the kind of reaction once it hits the ground, it's still spinning a ton. How does this really affect the flight when the discs have this much spin? And is this something that I should work on in my own shots? I don't think for me that power is really the issue. I just, you know, I'm curious as to how they get so much spin and if I should have that spin in my own shots. Anyway, thanks for taking my question and hope you all have a fantastic rest of the podcast. It's actually quite it's, essential to the fly of the disc, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. It, it also creates more lift and distance and, but honestly, it's hard to tell if you do or do not have spin on your disc. I was going to say, it might be landing far enough away from you that it's it's really hard for yeah, you to like tell. I on video, mine, you can definitely tell. I know on know? mine, I have a lot of shots that'll come in, because I've seen a lot of them on video of my shots when they hit, and they'll they'll just continue to spin for quite some time. You can't tell that from the T-pad, though. Yeah. So. I mean, I would say, if you think power isn't the issue, but spin is the issue, that's, that's kind of a tough one, because what you might be tempted to do is try and like really curl your wrist and, and make that a part of the shot. And you do not need to do that. Like make sure that your, uh, your forearm is even with the back of your hand when you're holding onto the disc. And that when you pull across your chest, the only thing that breaks your wrist is when, when your arm is forced to do that because of how far forward the disc is. Um, you, you might mess around with, with doing that kind of towel warm up, you know, where you bring a towel through quickly and, and pop it across. Maybe that'll help you with a, a little bit of acceleration, but I don't think it's necessarily power. I would say what you need to work on is acceleration. Yeah. I also think a lot of that spin comes more from straight flying discs as opposed mm-hmm. to something super overstable or right. understable finish. It's typically those shots that you see coming in straight and landing kind of flat. Yep. 